be sure to check out my Patreon for weekly exclusive interviews, extra content on VV and Omi, and building generational wealth, as well as money management tips from experienced whales. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all how to kind of get an answer to the one of the most important questions that I hear on VV where it's concerned. So I often get asked, yo, what do you think is the most valuable um, collectibles on VV? What should I be going for? What are the grails? And, and things like this. So I'm going to be showing you how to find it in a non-biased way to where it's not just me, an influencer, pumping bags or anything, because a lot of these I don't even have, first off. So um, yeah, like it's important to be able to find this information for yourself. So you have to look at the source if you want to really find out what people are interested in, what's making Disney the most money. Like all of this stuff is very, very important in determining what you want to be holding for the long term and what you want to be getting rid of short term. So um, because if you if you get rid of a grail, you have to make sure you know what you're doing. Like I saw somebody on Twitter bragging uh, um, the other day about how, oh, everybody said I shouldn't have sold my water at this level. I sold it and then that's when everything dropped and now I bought a few more waltz with, with the profit from that. And obviously it's amazing if you're able to time the market like that and it works out for you. But if you can't time the market and you, you just you just sold a walt, then you just sold a walt. So I mean, that's, that's just the situation you'll find yourself in. So it's very, very important to be careful and know your skills, like know your limits. If you don't feel confident in yourself that you can sell something and you feel like it's going to go down after you sell it, like I, I wouldn't take the risk personally. So that being said, we're gonna jump into um, 10 of the, the the 10 grails, 10 of the grails in VV. And they're not, they're probably not the only ones. They're, I'm pretty sure there's more grails, but these are just 10 of the ones that I'm gonna be talking about. And I'm gonna show you the facts and information that I'm basing this off of. So this is how you do, um, this, this is how you do a little bit of research, but this is not the only, the only thing that you have to do, you can't just, oh, I see it on that list, it's automatically a grail now. You have to you have to do your research, like look around YouTube, look at video views, are people still interested in this character? Does anyone care that this character is the top grossing? Like, it's a, it's a lot of information that you have to continue to look up to make sure that you're, like, that that it, that is accurate. But if it, at, if it is this high up on a list, it's probably accurate. So that being said, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, Turn on notifications so you stay updated. And yeah, let's finally jump into this here. So um, as you can see, I, this is the list of highest grossing media franchises. So instantly, like look at this. This is 50 billion plus right here. So you you see the B right here. As soon as you see that B, you're like, okay, this has generated a lot of money. There must be a ton of interest in these things here. Like look at this. Licensed merchandise alone for Pokemon mine is 82 billion. It's like... Just, just for the licensed merch, like let, let's 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 take everything else out of the equation. Just for this is eighty two billion. Like that that lets you know where Pokemon is at on the pedestal here. Like it's a reason Pokemon is king, man. It's a reason Pokemon is king. But um, let's go to what we actually have: Mickey Mouse and Friends. Mickey Mouse and Friends. This is very very important, man. This is very important. So as you can see here, retail sales. Um. That's 82 billion. So Mickey Mouse and Friends is a big deal, which brings us to the first one on this list. We have Walt and Mickey. Walt and Mickey had to make this list because obviously Mickey Mouse and Friends is an amazing brand. First off, that's Walt Disney as well. Like that's literally Walt Disney. Like, like that's where Disney started. So he's legendary in and of itself. Um, And honestly, if I had to put a number one on this list, like if I had to number it, I would still put this piece at number one. Even though it's not a piece that I hold, I would put this piece at number one just for the historic value. Like, look, like, look, look, look at this. Like, Mickey Mouse and Friends is legendary. So, yeah, I would put Walt and Mickey uh, at the top. Um, also, that based on this list, I would have to throw Donald and Daisy up here because and Friends is important, and that's another golden moment. So, the golden moment, golden moments, I feel like, are very, very historic pieces in, in itself. And yeah, Donald and Daisy, the Donald and Daisy are and friends. So yeah, I would I would put them up here because the other characters, the other characters don't really have their own. I don't want to say they don't have their own presence because we know these characters, but they all kind of fall under that Mickey Mouse umbrella. So um, I, I would have to throw Donald and Daisy in here. So um, yeah, th that being said, 
Next thing, like next thing I want to uh, actually go for is actually lower on the list. And and this is interesting. This is where we see scarcity come into play, but popularity is massive too. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, even though it's lower down here on this list, I mean, that's still 31 billion. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. But um, yeah, like even though it's lower on this list, I feel like the scarcity and the fact that it's only a thousand editions, it was the very first Marvel. It was the very first Disney technically like because of all the accolades that comes with the release around the piece, I would put the Secret Rare Spider Man um, on the list and and pretty high up on the list as well. So um, yeah, I I definitely gotta do that. And also, if you look up, like I said, this is why you can't just look at one source. If you look up the most popular heroes in the world, the most noticeable brands, you would probably think Batman. You would probably think maybe Iron Man or something like that. Spider-Man is the number one most famous hero by far. Like there's not another hero close to Spider-Man as far as popularity and fame. And once you realize that, it's like, yo, the, the, the Spider-Man is pretty special, man. Spider, Spider-Man is really special. So that being said, had to throw him on this list. Next, we're going to go with the, the, the Winnie the Pooh. Like 81 billion. Like if you look at Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse grossed 82 billion. Mint, Winnie the Pooh grossed 81 billion. Like this is massive. This is the and I know that people try to push this narrative. Oh, it's just moms buying stuff for their kids. I mean, what are we talking about? It's somebody buying this brand for somebody. They're not going to people are not going to be buying this brand at this rate if nobody wants it. So you you can like people try to spin the narrative that oh, it's only because of this, it's only because of that. The fact of the matter is people are taking money out of their pocket, giving it to retailers in order to get acquire this IP. That's all that we really need to talk about. Like that, that, that's all that needs to be discussed. The money is, is transferring hands for this brand in the conversation. Like people try to be all nuanced. Oh, only babies like this, only this like this, only that like this. Something likes it, like somebody likes it in the conversation. Like what are we talking about? So clearly it's the reason that these sales are this high. Yeah, like people would want to spin the narrative. Oh, I don't think that anyone wants this. I think that people just don't do enough research into what people actually want. It, so once something is legendary, it doesn't stop being legendary just because you've lost interest in it. It's not about what you what you think. It's about what what the reality is. And these and numbers don't lie. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Like simple. So um, yeah. That being said, Winnie the Pooh has to be on this list. This is why. And this is one of the slept on grails right now. This is why I believe that Winnie the Pooh is going to jump up over like $10,000 or something or 10,000 gems or something on VV. And people are going to be shocked. You, you could have got this at like $200. Like, listen, we have seen this happen with the grails before. If you're an OG, you've been here. You saw the grails go from pretty much nothing to, to up crazy amounts of money. And that's because that's what these grails can do. I understand that all all the new people like envy the OGs, like, oh, you all got in so early. But no, when you see an opportunity, like you have one of the top grossing brands in human history going for like $200, $300 on Vivi, you sit here and you, you, you look at it side eyed like it's not what it is. Bro, when it blows up, don't blame anyone but yourself. I mean, not financial advice. I don't give financial advice, but when this thing blows up like everything else did for us in the past, then you'll be looking at yourself like, oh, this is how the LGs felt when, when everything started blowing up and they was too stupid to grab something. Yeah, we felt that dumb too, yeah. Like that's that's exactly how we felt the first time. This is why we have, all the OGs have multiple of this piece because we, we've done this before. Like, so, so we're gonna let y'all take y'all chance to look stupid because we had to deal with that. We had to, we had to watch Todd blow up that way and, and, and feel like morons. We we had we had to live through this, yo. So I mean, it's y'all turn. So I mean, th th that's just how I look at it. Um, next we have Star Wars. So on this list, because we have Star Wars, you know, we have to throw up the R two D two, and we have to throw up the C three PO. Um, obviously these are these are these are the first two pieces that's been that's been released from Star Wars. So yeah, that that those would be two grails that I definitely have to throw on this list. Um, I mean that that's just that's just simple as it goes. Obviously. Um, I think because of when these was released, I think that these will always maintain their value and stuff like that. Obviously, Yoda, Luke, um, Darth Vader, like all the like certain brands will make their way up on this list. But that that's where it's it's like the market kind of decides at that point because certain characters have more popularity, but also certain pieces are older. And usually, when it comes down to collectibles, 
the history matters. Like what was released first? Like how many editions of something? Um, and, and more than likely by the time they release like a Darth Vader and stuff like that, the additions will probably be higher. I would, ass I would assume that the additions are going to be higher than for um, some of the, the stuff that we have now. So yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. I think the additions are going to be higher, which is going to make um, R2-D2 and C-3PO still maintain their same value. Um, and don't get it twisted. Even with higher additions, I feel like Darth Vader is still Darth Vader. Don't get it twisted. So um, yeah, next we we're going to go down here to Batman. So Batman leads me to throwing Todd on this list. And 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 I throw Todd on this list because of the significance of this piece to Vivi. The significance of this piece to Vivi is important because that was the very first collectible um put on Vivi. The very first one. This was the very first IP Batman being the very first IP. Like Todd is just Todd Todd is Todd, man. Todd is Todd. So yeah, Batman, even though he's lower on, on the totem pole here, he I mean 30, that's 30 billion, bro. Like that that's still 30 billion. Like, come on now. I mean, it don't look it don't look as good as being up here on this list, but that's 30 billion. I don't care. If I got 30 billion in my pocket, I don't care where I fall on the list. So, like, come on now. That that's 30 billion right there. So, um, yeah, Todd definitely had to throw him on here. Next, let's go over to the list of highest grossing animated films, because this is important too, and there's a distinction. Now, starting off, look at this. The Lion King remake. Lion King right there. Hold on. Hold on. Lion King again right here. So you have Lion King on this list multiple times. Oh, Lion King right here. I think that's another Lion King. Let me see. Lion King. Lion King. Bro, this list tripping me out. But anyway, Lion King is on this list multiple times. Timon and Pumbaa is the first... Um, the first drops from Lion King on the VV app. And then, like I said, it's number one. It's literally number one on this list um, grossing. So why would you, like, why would you not have a, um, like, why would you not have a Timon and Pumbaa? Like, like why, why, would, why would that not be a grail? Like, literally, if you go to the highest grossing animated films in, in, in film history, the first thing that pops up is Lion King. I mean, I don't understand how there will be any debate around this. And you know what Lion King is. The second you heard that name, you knew what it was. Even though a lot of people probably didn't respect the fact that there was Timon and Pumbaa or something, like those are very, very known characters. They were literally beside the main character Simba the whole time. Like they, they, they were beside him the entire time. It's like it don't it, it don't get more main than them. It don't like you got Rafiki, you know him, but it's like I mean outside of Simba or uh, Mufasa or Scar or something, it doesn't get it don't, it don't get more. Come on now, it doesn't get more more known than them. Timon and Pumbaa, iconic. So yeah, those are definitely grails in my opinion. Um, all, all of this is my opinion, of course. Um, then, come on, the next two on the list. I mean, the next two on the list, Frozen. Like people sleep on Elsa still. Elsa, and honestly, Elsa is, is, is Elsa has actually made more money like, like than people realize. Like if you just research Elsa, you would be putting Elsa, like Elsa, in my opinion, could rival Walt and Mickey. Like once you start actually adding up some stuff, doing the math and doing your research into Elsa, and this is why I say just looking at a list, it doesn't tell the full story. When you just look at what Elsa has accomplished, when you look at the fact that that Frozen is the highest view, is one of the highest, is the highest viewed Disney brand um, on, on YouTube. Like once you look at this stuff and find this information, you 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 realize that there's a lot of other things to consider. Elsa is is in a league of her own, to be honest. Elsa is up there. So yeah, um, that one I had to throw Elsa on the list for that reason, of course. And then last but not least, look at this, another one, back to back, Toy Story four, Toy Story three, um, and then obviously we might have some more Toy Stories down here somewhere. Let me see. Nah, no Toy Story. Look at how low Wally is. Poor man. Poor guy. Um, but yeah. As you can see, Toy Story. You got two Toy Stories. Woody. Woody. It's like, come on. Woody. You have to throw Woody on this list. Contrary to how anyone feels about it, Woody is legendary. So this is why, like, this is why when you see these Pixar drops coming out and, and you see these, you see the Timon and Pumbaa, you see, like, you see Winnie the Pooh. Like, literally, so many people have, have an opportunity to buy some of the biggest grails in human history at such low prices right now and and no one no one's choosing to buy it's kind of weird that's why some of us ogs are just stacking looking around like oh they really not gonna buy this huh 
Like that's why we just stacking some of this stuff because it's like we have we we this is not our first rodeo, man. We've been here when nobody was buying this stuff. We literally saw nobody was buying Todd's. Nobody was buying Secret Rare Spider-Man. Like we saw nobody was buying this stuff until they were. And then we saw what happened. Then that's what inspired a lot of new people to hop on VV. Like, oh, they making all this money. Then people want to get on VV like, oh, they making this money. We haven't had this opportunity. What do you, you got Winnie the Pooh, Timon and Pumbaa, Woody, and all of this stuff is priced very, very low. And you don't have no opportunity. Like people, people go, like you don't realize your opportunity until you miss it. Like, like I said, we, the OGs, we've already missed a few opportunities. That's why we don't let certain ones slip up. But that's that's lessons that you, people usually have to learn the hard way. So, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. What other grails do you feel like we have on the platform? I just mainly focused on the statues. There are comic grails and stuff as well, but this was just mainly focused on, focused on the statues. So, yeah, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you stay updated. And, yeah, I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Peace out, Joe.